Now, out of the gates, uh, I ended up playing the special report in overdrive yesterday. So I'm going to get back into the actual technicals of what I believe is the greatest threat uh, facing humanity, and that is unchecked genetic engineering, human clones, uh, humans being spliced with plants, animals, uh, insects, uh, reptiles, amphibians, fish. Uh, it's all being done, and it's admitted in plain view. Now we've learned since the 1960s, uh, but more and more they're admitting they've been doing it secretly. Uh, and I want to break down why this is a threat, because I got a few emails and saw a few comments uh, on our special report uh, with people saying, what's wrong with technology? Well, what's wrong with a firearm? Nothing, unless a bad person is using it to shoot you in the head. And so we have the headline, I'm breaking down the proof and the facts of all this information uh, at Infowars.com. I've moved it back to the top of the page in Featured News. Genetic genocide, humanity's greatest threat. And the name of the um, video that accompanies the article is Genetic Armageddon, Humanity's uh, greatest threat, and we're going to be going over that more today. The American Dream uh, Report uh, did an accompanying article. Uh, part human, part animal hybrid monsters are being created by scientists all over the planet. Uh, they go through the proof, and that was my intention. I asked other journalists, reporters, filmmakers, YouTubers to do, do, look at this information yourself. You'll dig up even more than we've dug up and talk about it. Get a buzz going about real issues, not whether... You know, the NFL was going to have a strike or whatever. Also, tying into this, forced DNA collection without search warrant violates privacy rights. EFF urges appeals court to block unconstitutional federal law. Also, Aaron Dykes has a detailed report. Also at Infowars.com, Target Africa, GMO crop push is depopulation scheme by the Rockefeller and Bella Melinda Gates Foundation. We have Sheriff Richard Mack, uh, who's now moved to Central Texas. <laughs> Everybody is. <laughs> it's great. Good to have him here. The Health Ranger, Sheriff Mack, uh, so many others uh, over the years uh, moving here. And uh, he's going to be in studio with us uh, coming up in the third hour today. And we're going to be talking about Operation Fast and Furious. We're going to be talking about the court site situation uh, that is uh, what martial law police state looks like. We have an article today on that court signed Arizona blueprint for a police state. We've got the latest on the bankers uh, positioning the United States for total bankruptcy. We're already bankrupt hundreds of times over through fraud. We don't owe but a fraction of the uh, derivatives that they've had our criminal, traitorous, treacherous words, can't describe it, politicians have a sign on to. Also, there's lots of hyperventilating and fear-mongering going on right now. Oh, my goodness. We're in such a grave danger. Uh, exclusive Fox News AWOL soldier arrested over concerns of possible second attack on Fort Hood. He was reportedly from Fort Campbell, Kentucky, home of the Night Stalkers. Uh, and uh, he had come back into the uh, Fort Hood area. Reportedly, he may have lived there previously, and they're trying to make the connection to Major Hassan, who for two years was run by Anwar al-Awlaki, number three man in al-Qaeda, who, of course, was getting direct orders from the Pentagon. And when Congress asked to see the two years of emails they'd been surveilling, they were told national security, Congress can't see that. But I wanted to dovetail that with Obama to approve al-Qaeda embassy in Washington. Can't make that up. <laughs> Uh, and also, Daily Mail, no porn or prostitution, Islamic extremists set up Sharia law controlled zones in British cities. And I've looked at the video of these guys, this is definitely staged. Uh, in fact, some people involved that head up the group admit they work with the government. These guys are MI5 and MI6. We'll break it all down, stay with us. We are live, my friends. It is Thursday, the 28th day of July. 2011, and we are tracking the globalist crime syndicate as they continue to roll out new pre-planned phases of their global government, their private, fascistic, anti-free market, anti-family, anti-private property, criminal takeover of society, their takeover of the genetic engineering of the crops, their takeover uh, of every facet of life on this planet, what the globalists call full spectrum dominance. We are here attempting with some success and growing success, uh, which is very exciting, uh, to uh, try to activate 
uh, the warning system, the survival instincts that are within all human beings that beat deep within our breast, a desire to uplift the species, to build, to explore, to trailblaze, and to protect the innocent, the children, the women, the men, the people of our planet. We are here to bring hope, but real hope the only hope is in facing just how serious the crisis is, just how criminal and ruthless and psychopathic the globe's current controllers and ruling class are. If you've studied history, you know ruling classes tend to become very decadent, especially when they're in power for a long time. They have completely eroded the sovereignty of every nation on earth, but a handful of third world countries they're now mopping up. Does it mean those third world countries are run by good people? In most cases, no. The point is they are not setting up the global eugenics extermination grid. Uh, Russia is extremely corrupt uh, with a corrupt uh, old line oligarchy running it. But Russia is not financing eugenics for sterilization and population reduction. Russia, from my analysis, it's public information, is paying the public to have children. So I think that's important to add. China made a secret deal in 1975 with U.S. ambassador to China, now declassified uh, through State Department memorandums, uh, 200 and others, George Herbert Walker Bush, for China to be the new industrial base and to be at the top of the new world order after the United States is brought to third world status if they would begin exterminating uh, large portions of their population in the womb and even after they're born with the dreaded one-child policy. Now, of course, public. All right, I am now digressing, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you the news that we have in front of us today. This story is of the utmost importance by Kurt Nemo. It is posted on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And we need everyone to get this report out to their email list, to their friends, to their families. Busting posse commentatus, military cops arrest civilians in Florida City. Now, I've read Kurt Nemo's article. It's excellent. It has scores of links to other examples of this happening. But it's so much worse than you can even put in an article. So before I read the article, let me just break something down. Two years ago, all over California, our Marines from the bases began setting up checkpoints in multiple counties with firearms on their side, searching citizens' cars and doing breathalyzer tests. Completely illegal, in your face, and it was in a CHIPS press release is the only reason we know about it. And the Marines defended it and got very arrogant when we tried to call him and get him on his guest and basically laughed at us and said, look, we're taking over. That's the end of it. Shut up. Uh, two years ago, and it's continued in a four state area centering around Tennessee, regular army, army reserve, regular air force, air force reserve, MPs from all branches, Marines, uh, ATF, FBI, uh, DEA, uh, TSA, Viper teams, federal marshals from more than 20 agencies set up checkpoints shutting down major highways, searching families, trucks, you name it. When the governor said, you didn't ask me to do this, get out, they said, Presidential Decision Directive 50, and they also cited the John Warner Defense Authorization Act. And that's all covered in my film, Police State for the Rise of FEMA absolutely seminal to give you a full spectrum. I just got chills just thinking about that film and, and what we've proven. Full spectrum takeover. Please listen to me. There's been covert operations that have come out. I remember in 1998 in the Pensacola News Journal, we have copies of it still on Infowars.com, actual scans of the newspaper. The Marine Corps training facility with Marines and their cadets uh, the uh, trainees entered Hobbs Middle School for over five hours, lining the children up at machine gun points, screaming, this is martial law. Martial law will come to America. Bill Clinton, this is a quote, Bill Clinton wants you to know what martial law is like. That was in the newspaper. I covered it. 
By then, my show had become syndicated on a few stations and on shortwave and satellite. And the paper came out and said, well, they did say all those things, but still Alex Jones is bad for scaring Pensacola. All on record. Now, now remember, as I talk to you, there are hundreds of cases I have confirmed. I interviewed a Marine Corps captain who got out of the Marines after a decade uh, and who started a computer company. I went to his mansion and interviewed him there. And he's in Road to Tyranny, 9-11 Road to Tyranny. Why did he sit down for the interview and show me photos and documents? He said, I knew it was wrong when I did it, but now I understand why we did it. And he said, I was stopped at an Army checkpoint in Kyle, Texas, and they've had a bunch of them. And he said, these are totally illegal. I'm going to spill my guts. And he raided gun shops for small gun infractions. You know, oh, you, you didn't fill out the form right. In the late 1980s, in beta testing, then they created larger teams, he raided gun shops. I said, oh, you raided drug dealers. He said, no, gun shops and gun dealers' homes. U.S. Marines, and he went along with it, so he then you know, traveled up the, the, you know, the command structure. And then he became a police officer for a while, but he also did, got a degree in computer programming, went and made a bunch of money doing that. And he showed me all his police stuff and the rest of it. He's a police officer in Florida. <clears throat> but the point is, is that he is in 9-11, uh, The Road to Tyranny. It's a two and a half hour film. It's in the last 30 minutes. Go watch it. In the 1980s, they had secret teams of Marines in police blue windbreaker jackets. That was their uniform. With police raiding gun dealers, you know, just coming into the family gun shop and uh, with the ATF and local police and having Marines there. I've been to the urban warfare drills where they train to take your guns two years ago, also in Road to Tyranny. Became a national news story. It was in the Arcadia, Iowa newspaper. It said the local gun shop is practicing being raided and the town of what was it, 700, they said, will be shut down and everyone has agreed in the town to have Marines. No, it was Army. I interviewed the colonel. We got the colonel on about it. To have the Army go door to door and practice gun confiscation in the homes. Now, just as in the case, just as in the case of, of, of other events around the country that we've covered, like uh, Pensacola, after they do this and we make a big stink, the paper attacked us and said we were crazy. Sure, it was true they were doing this, but it was for Iraq. Yeah. I've been to the urban warfare drills. Uh, and one of the more famous uh, was in Oakland. Over a 1,000 Marines, Israeli troops, French, Dutch, Czech Republic, uh, Australian. Hundreds of role players screaming, I'm an American, please not the camp. Um, they let us into a media-guided tour. They shut down a university to do it. And they would never let us go into the actual drill areas very close. And they wouldn't, uh, the, 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 the former Marine, who was the civilian spokesman, last name was Jones, he's in the film, I his first name. You'll see him say, no, you can't film this. Well, we got around the bureaucracy. They were also giving citizens tours. So we just checked out and stopped saying that we were media and just reinserted ourselves um, as as citizens wanting to videotape, as citizen tours. And they let us film, okay, they bring the Americans out of the house, they put them on their knees, they go, all right, watch this execution and simulate killing Americans. They simulate, and they do it in Afghanistan, it's admitted. They just kill the, 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 the prisoners. Uh, they do whitewashes where they release, oh, they accidentally shot some guys off a motorbike. You know, they thought they might be Al-Qaeda. That's all a whitewash. They have admitted they wipe out entire villages. So the point is, they bring the American militia people out, and they set them down on their knees, and they shoot them, and they shoot you in the back of the head. And then they simulate kicking you into the grave. That is in Police State 2000. And you know about 29 Palms and the troops ask, will you shoot at Americans? You know about the officers coming out and saying, yes, we're being trained to take on the American people. This is going on.